Oh, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Today we're going to discuss so basically composition of functions. Uh, look at examples of it, uh, on this one uh, and look at part one of this. I'll do another one, uh, in another video which basically goes further into uh, composition of functions. I'll get to that uh, probably tomorrow if I have time. So basically let's review what composition of functions are. In my earlier video, I showed the definition. Basically we have two functions, f and g. The composite function, this f circle, G or F composite G, well, whatever, however you want to call it. Also called the composition of F and G is just defined by, well, this notation, uh, F circle G of X is just equal to F of G of X inside it there. So that's, so it's a function combined with another function here. So it's two functions in one. Yeah, now that I've reviewed this one here, let's just look at some examples here. And uh, this one here, let's for these uh, four examples are A, B, C, and D. We're gonna be based on these two functions here. Let's say if f of x equals to square root of x and g of x equals to square root of two minus x, basically find uh, these ones here: f circle g, g circle f, f circle f, g circle g, or composite g, or whatnot, and state their domains here. So, well, let's look at the the first one here which is uh, just part A, F circle G. Now recall from the definition, F circle G of, of X, this function is just equals to F of G of X inside it here. Or in, in other words, F of, so we look at the first one here, which is the, on the right side, which is G of X, and G of X is equal to two, square root two minus X here. So this is just gonna be F of square root two minus X. And then we just plug this inside the function of f, which is square root of x. So we're gonna have a square root and a square root two minus x inside here. You could simplify this into either, because this is, this is remember, it's power of one over two. So then this could just be the, the four root of uh, two minus x, or equal to two to the x, one over four here. Yeah, so this is our function here. Now to get the domain, recall that Basically, uh, inside here, it has to be greater than zero here because this is a square root. Yeah, this is a square root because this one's even. This has to be uh, greater than zero here because what? Remember what? What square root means? If you have one over two, let's say x one over two, this equals to a number times it by itself uh, twice equals to uh, whatever this number is. Or I mean, uh, basically, yeah, remember this one, it's x to the one over two is equal to a, where a times a is equal to x. But in this one uh, with a four, you're gonna have four of them. And now and this can't be negative because if you have a negative times a negative, it becomes positive here. So then this inside has to be greater than zero because if you had four of these, it will just be an even number of negatives times it by each other has to be greater than zero here. Yeah, thus you can't put negative in there. So this one has to be greater than equal to zero or if you rearrange this, you're just gonna have x is greater than, actually x is gonna be less than, if you put this on this side, x is less than two here, because this one would be on the other side here. So this is the domain, you could also write this in that other notation, which I showed the interval one, you video link below, you can go with negative infinity, and then two close brackets. So this open meaning, it's not defined there, and a close meaning is defined from negative infinity to two. So now let's look at uh, part B, which is just G circle F or G composite F or whatever you want to call it. Now this one is just going to be equal to, well, let's just write down the uh, definition first, G of F of X here. So now we apply always the right side, which is F first, and it's just, this is just going to equal to G of square root of X. And then we plug this into the G of X function, which is square root two minus the X, but we're replacing X with square root of X here. So this is our function. Now we have to find the domain, and the domain in this case, uh, for this square root of x, it has to be, well, greater than zero, like I explained above for square roots. So greater than or equal to zero, and also the inside of this outer square root has to be greater than or equal to zero. So this one would be something like this, greater than or equal to zero. If we rearrange this, put this on the other side, we're going to have two is greater than or equal to square root of x. And if we square both sides, we're just gonna get four greater than equal to, well, x here. Or just, yeah, just we, if, we, if we just square them like this here. So we'll just get something like this. So now we have, yeah, we have our domain here. So basically x is greater than equal to zero as this one here, and it's gonna be less than equal to four. And if you write this in the interval notation, this, this is closed because it's greater than and equal to, there's an equal sign. So close interval zero to four here. So this is the domain right here. Or you could write it as that as well. Okay, so now let's look at part f, which is f circle f, so a composite function of itself. You could do this as well. And this one will just have f of f circle f, 
of x by then by the definition this is going to be f of f of x so we put it inside and f of x remember is just going to be square root of x so we put square root of x inside the x so then we just put that in inside itself so this is going to be square root of square root of x or 4 square root of x or this just equals 2 x to the 1 over 4 and then the domain this one uh this is a just a, this is the four root so this one has to be just be greater than or equal to zero here so this is a domain right here or you could write it as again in the interval notation you're, you could just have closed interval uh, close bracket zero and then positive infinity open interval yeah, open bracket meaning it, it's not defined there so this this is the same thing as this so we could uh, use it uh, so yeah this is our domain then yeah so I'll just write that down there Okay, so now let's look at the uh, last example for today, just a G circle G or G composite G. So this one is similar to the above one. So we're, if we write down the definition, is exactly as before G of G of X inside here. So the, we're doing it, the composite of itself. And then this is going to be G of square root 2 minus X right here. Inside the square root 2 minus X, we'll have a square root 2 minus square root 2 minus X here. It's a lot of square roots. So we have something like this here. So this is our function. And now to get the domain, to get the domain, we have to make sure that the inside the square root is never less than zero. So then the inside one right here, two minus x has to be less than, I mean, greater than equal to zero. And if we rearrange this, we're just gonna get x is, well, put this on this side. So this is gonna be less than two here. So if we put this here, we'll have, yeah, we'll have two greater than or equal to x or just flip it around so this way here so x is less than or equal to two and now uh, now this outer one has to be true as has to be uh, greater than or equal to zero as well so two minus square root two minus x has to be greater than or equal to zero and now if we just rearrange this we have two is greater than or equal to move this on the other side two minus x so we'll have this right here and then if we square root both sides just square them square them doesn't change the sign this is going to be four greater than e yeah greater than equal to well the the square root goes away so two minus x yeah, and then now if we just rearrange this further put this x on the on the left side so we'll have x and then minus four on both sides minus four we're going to have x is greater than negative two here so now we have two uh sections here x is greater than negative two and less than equal to two so our domain is going to be equal to x is less than equal to 2, greater than equal to negative 2, or in the interval fun in interval form, you can write close bracket negative 2 all the way to open bracket, I mean close bracket as well, to uh, positive 2. So this is our uh, domain here. Well, that's all for today, and I just wanted to show that, uh, I just wanted to say that my next video will be on basic examples of three inner functions, or three composite functions here, so f of f circle g circle h so remember you just do the right side to the left side and this is pretty straightforward but i'll do some examples on it but it is because it is pretty useful and uh, important to understand it well that's all for today remember you can uh, download these notes in the dropbox link below and uh yeah just yes hopefully enjoy it and stay tuned for another math easy solution